Welcome back everybody. I am down here at the farm like I've been probably starting most of my episodes recently. I know last episode we did build the basalt farm. I actually just kind of modified it a bit. I'm only going to go four deep instead of the five because I noticed as I was standing here to get to that far backside, I kept picking up all of the basalt from this front section, which then... I think it was like back to here, this would group up with it up here sometimes, and it'd go all into my inventory instead of into that hopper cart. So now I have it set, if I turn it on just to kind of show you. Let's get down there, I have to crouch here. There's less of a chance for it to go into my inventory, and it just gets picked up by that cart coming through sometimes. Like, that one just popped into my inventory, but... Now when I'm doing this, it tends to want to go into the... Let's see. Oh no, we got more. Because before all this, I had just one sitting in this pile. So for how small it is, it actually is pretty good. I mean, I have most of like a double... Or actually, yeah, most of a single chest or double chest to about right here of basalt in my little house over there. Like I say little, but that's actually huge. But, um... Uh, so I think for how small this is, this is going to be the perfect amount. I'm going to try and figure out how to get, like, use basalt more into some of my builds. But I actually realized I am starting to kind of run out of space in here. Um, I'm planning on today's episode to make the sheep farm a better sheep farm than what I have over there. I'm actually going to build it right here. Did not mean to break that. So I have just like the basics. Not sure why that's there. Oh, I think I broke it one time, but I'm actually going to be putting it in this back corner here. So if I put that there, that there, I'm planning to do like a 5x5 five five area. It'll probably be bigger than what I really need for sheep. I mean, I just need a couple more sheep, probably close to maybe five to ten more in there to let them keep pushing each other around i might need more i'm not actually fully sure on that but um i am planning to start selling like some sheep eggs too in my rotating uh shop i guess yeah the rotating shop i have going so i just need to kind of build that little area that's gonna have the sheep um and so this is all going to be filled with hoppers. It's kind of dark now, so I need to get going. Uh, let's see, I'm planning to... Can I put a fence post on a hopper? Because I might need to have this one be hoppers too, because if the I put the fence post there, the sheep could stand here when I hit them with the egg. So actually, it might be a 6x6 six six now that I think about it. But let's get this placed. There we go. The whole idea is I'm going to have my chest right here. Yeah, I'm going to have to put hoppers down there. But let's put the lanterns back up because I do need light. I might need to put something over there, but... Just to stop stuff from spawning over there. Actually, I don't think mobs will spawn on spawner or on hoppers. So I think that back corner will be fine, but... I'm definitely going to need more hoppers because I do have to make... Break that. And that. So yeah, this whole open area is going to be hoppers, and I have a few in my inventory. I grabbed enough for the, like the, uh, I guess like the 5x5 five five I was planning, but since now it's a 6x6, six six, I have to get another few more hoppers. So let's get these all placed, and then I'll have to go get those hoppers. And I know I don't need all of them, but I feel like it's better if I have them all here, just in case. Especially for, like, some reason, if the sheep wanted to, like, stay back in here, I can hit them. Or if they wanted to, like, stay over here, that egg could still pop off and go into there. But let's get these, like, so let's get these finished placement. And then we're just going to 
have those go into that one. And then I just need to get that. So that's what? One, two, three, four, five by two. So ten more. And perfect. I can still access that. This is how I can come in if I need to get in. And boom. So let's go. I'll go get the hoppers. And go grab the sheep I have over there and bring them in here. And I'll be back once I'm back here to finish this up. And we're back here. And actually, I just had a thought as I was getting back to this. You know what? I had some of them kind of pushing a bit. But I do need to fill in this gap. Like, a few of the ones up on top. I could just keep this running as I'm here. I mean... Yeah, now that I kind of look about at it, I need a lot more. I might actually need more, like, 15 to push in this gap. But they do seem to be pushing them off this. So let's just run it for a second and just watch it clip a few as we get some and then just let them push. So it does seem to be working well. I don't actually think I really tested this up. Oh, that's where I was a little worried. If one of them were to like pop off onto that block, but it doesn't seem like that's much of a problem. Um, just in the short amount of time, I mean, I've gotten 25 in there. But let's just let this kind of work its magic while I finish up over here. So even just that short amount of time, that was pretty good, I think, for an output. Just need it slightly better. So let's do that, and then I'll have all these go into that one. So I think that's a good general amount spread out. Apparently I can't throw it at the thing. Oh yeah, you can't. You have to be up close to hit the block. Eh, it doesn't matter. Because the color here doesn't matter what they are. Over there, I just want them to be white so I can die whatever I get, get, and I can keep dying whatever I get. Now I just realized I forgot my wheat. But ultimately, this is the better sheep farm that I've been wanting to build. It'll just get me a good amount of sheep so I can get a lot of wool. Really, I just need to get that filled up. But I'm probably going to be turning this into a different farm for a bit. Or I might keep it, I don't know. Like I said, I can have it for like a sheep egg. And have sheep eggs be like a permanent part of my shop since I know that I don't really see that much. But that is one more farm down. Because I'm going to consider that complete. That I'm considering complete. I did forget to let you guys know. I put those signs up there to kind of help in case like they pop up. Sometimes they're like kind of popping at an angle to where they might go into the lava. I just realized my sheep farm's going. And since I'm running away, I don't want the redstone to be working. I like the redstone to be running while I'm gone. Because of possible like... If I'm out there, if I unload that chunk anything or a bit, I'm not sure what this will do. But just in that amount of time, I got another like 13 wool. So let's take my easy route out. I need to fix that hole in the house, side of that house. But there are still two sheep in here. And this hole, um, I guess this, <gasps> they grew up. Perfect. I was waiting for them to grow up so I could make them eggs. And I missed with a chicken or egg, so I spawned a chicken. But now that that's done... I can tear this down and try and figure out for decoration what to do with this. I'm still kind of at a loss and have no idea what even to build. And the more I sit here and look at this, I'm just not sure with how big of an area. And the fact that I made it wide open in this. So it's like at least this open area from like here down and all around. I'm going to leave. But, like, I could do separate rooms here that just have, like, a ceiling that goes up, or a wall that goes all the way up to there. 
and figure out what to do with like each section. Kind of like how I have my um, enchanting area here. But I'm not sure what to do with the rest of it. Like it's just, there's a lot of big areas and I'm not used to building, I guess, big. Like this is gigantic for me for a base. If I'm not like putting in a automatic sorter or whatnot because I know Lady Nerd helped me with the storage system up there. And I do kind of like it. I do wish I could auto sort it. But this is actually very easy to come and be like, okay, I need to put like my slabs away. What well, stone slab I have, and I just run over here and I know where it is. And pop it in. But um, yeah, so I'm just not sure what to do with like this big area here. And upstairs, even then, I don't know what to do. I know Lady Nerd kind of decorated, let's see what side of the house. Up over there, like where it's kind of hard to see. I'll have to go up there and look at it in a minute. But we can take that off and that off. Um, probably Bamboo is the next farm. It's the easiest one to get knocked off of all the ones on that list. There was like a cave underneath and there was a zombie I heard. Actually, I think that might have been a drowned at that point, but let's get up to where I was kind of talking about what Lady Nerd did up here. So, like, this is definitely a smaller room than down there, but, like, that side was going to be the bedroom. And I'm still not sure what to do. I still need to, like, light it up. I do wish that those would have put light down here, but it doesn't. So, I might actually have to just take those off, or I'll leave them, because they just make a nice little kind of lighting effect up there but yeah like this is gonna be the whole bedroom up here and just try and figure out what to do like I need some I feel like I need something in this corner and still trying to figure it out maybe do like XB's piano or something but just some ideas I have um, Lady Nerd ended up building this like I put this this or actually I had these two here and that originally and I know we had like a little furnace array down there for just starting out before we built our super smelter over there. And one of the times when Lady Nerd was on last, she moved everything up here, which it's been a while because I know I've been walking up here and it's been like that. But yeah, I do think for those two farms that we knocked off, that's good. And I think the next one that I'm wanting to kind of build is either going to be the Creeper, Drowned, or Iron. Those are going to be the bigger projects and probably span a few episodes. I mean, this one, I've built enough Creeper farms. I probably could knock that one out quick. And I say quick, but like within one episode. My plan is I'm going to do it up in the air. So I don't have to do much um, of the... Oh, what is it? The lighting up of areas down here so yeah like I said I'm thinking of doing it up in the air and either I'm standing at build height for the AFK spot which will probably despawn everything here oh definitely should despawn everything here or I stand what basically like 120 blocks above like uh, where where was I thinking of putting it Probably like over here. So yeah, like somewhere over in like this area. So I need to be like uh, at least 128 blocks above probably either this section or that one. For if I'm standing, so I'd probably be up a bit and then have the creepers above me. Like have probably the creeper farm, like the roof of it, be right at build height. Um, those are just a lot of ideas that I'm thinking of doing and trying to figure out what to do. Uh, kind of just running around looking at stuff that needs to get done. I need to put this on the list. Actually, I think it's on the list. But it's a project that I just need to finish up as a zombie comes from my face. Um, I just need to get the villagers in here so I can start trading. I did end up selling it out of cyan and red. And the, um, I guess like the temporary shop that I opened up last episode that I put in all that ancient debris. It's all been sold already, so I had like one extra ancient debris. And actually, 
I smelt them down netherite scrap and sold them as that, so I ended up selling, what was it, like 30-some netherite scraps, and so then I had one left in the smelter that I didn't realize I had, so I just went and put that in, and it's actually probably already sold. There's a good chance it's already sold, but yeah, so I do need to replenish the red and the cyan. And I tend to do all of that stuff off camera just because it's a lot of digging. I mean, I have a good amount of red for back stock here, but I know I have like no cyan and not really a lot of backup regular terracotta, which is why I need to get those villagers done. So probably I'll be doing it a bit off camera. Actually, probably a lot off camera. It's not up there. Farms to do. Oh, yeah, it is. It's right there. The villager hall. Because I'm kind of considering. Oh, no. There we go. Terracotta traders. The villager hall is a different thing. But the terracotta traders, I really just need to come here and just see what to do. Um, just want to make sure nothing's here to try and eat my face. But So I definitely think I'm going to try and get that going. I do need to probably go farm down there and get some potatoes or something so I can then feed my villagers which my villagers for trading are they're not trading but for um, I guess farming and turning into eggs are up here they're asleep right now but I don't think I have any nope don't have any running around down here I did put this here because they can't climb scaffolding and it's just easier for me to get down egg them and then come back up I mean, it probably would just be easier if I just made all of this hoppers. And then as I stand up here and just egg them, but I would need to get down here to still do the egging. So I figure it's just easy enough with the amount that I get. Because I tend to come down here and get like five at a time. To just egg them and pick up their eggs as they, I guess, drop if it works. And I do know right now this has been kind of a quick episode I feel I just feel like it's been quick I'm not sure it just feels quicker like I'm looking at the time that I have on OBS and it's like been running for 20 minutes 21 minutes but I'm not actually sure how long this episode's gonna be but I think since I need to kind of stock up my terracotta in the shop that I'm gonna probably end the episode here and go digging for more terracotta so I can go and stock up my shop but that is it for today's episode if you liked it leave a like subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys next time